Charlotte looks at you guys for a very long time and then says, I don't feel so good. I think I'm going to go sit in the ATV for a bit. Should we look after her? Perhaps she's got something native to this planet. No, 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 she's fine. Well, she just got a head injury. Maybe, oh, God. <laughs> Evelyn looks pale again. <laughs> I raise my hand, but having realized that we are a team, I just, I speak aloud. A thought is- <laughs> Good! Good, you're learning! <laughs> a thought has occurred to me. There's a non-violent course of action we could take to perhaps reach a rather promising goal. I enjoy the food idea. However, rather than- Rather than using it to draw the civilians out, why don't we simply set it up so that every person in the bar can take part in it? However, if we had some way to- drug the food that we would be giving to the other ones, the the bandits, as I understand it. That would allow us to interrogate them at our own speed. Further, I suggest that the people distributing the food not be the ones who have been seen. Dom, I know you don't know any better, but don't go poisoning my food. Seriously. No. That's the one thing I draw the line there. You can't poison my food. Take a ration if you want, but no way are you poisoning something I cooked. Hold up a second. Maybe we don't have to poison the food that you prepare. Maybe they like to drink. Maybe we get the bartender on our side. We slip something in around that we buy for them. Ah, you're right. We ingratiate ourselves with them by, by, what is it, by getting them drunk. Mm-hmm. We give them a chance to publicly embarrass themselves. I've heard of this. It's a human ritual. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> also, drunk people tend not to fight very well. Mm. I have so many plans. Well, let's start hearing them. Oak stands there breathing in deep. After a long pause, he opens up his eyes and says, The elements will not help today. So, I can drug, poison. I can even do a drinking contest if you'd like. Oh? Can, can you put them under? If they keep playing, yes. <laughs> this sounds awesome. Cora's eyes wide. I like this plan a lot better. Anyone object? I shake my head. Hell, I even like it. Jack would like to do one last thing. Okay. Um, I would like to get into the ATV. Good job. <laughs> All right. Um, I will speak to nobody in particular, but make sure that Charlotte can hear me. And I will state, in a few minutes, we are going to be getting into a drinking contest. Oak will be essentially getting them so drunk that they can't remember their names. Charlotte raises an eyebrow and considers you for a long time. Then hops out of the ATV and says, never mind, I am going to see this. <laughs> Uh, everyone's pretty much where they are. It's still a very quiet and solemn um, crowd, except for the four guys at the bar. Evelyn is going to um, walk up to the bar. I will take your hardest liquor. <laughs> the bartender goes up to you and says, uh, Okay, uh, what do you trade? I have... Um, she rummages through her backpack and pulls out a book he looks into the book in you and says put the book back um uh, but maybe someone like you should try a little lighter beverage first and he gives you a um a weaker drink oh okay thank you <clears throat> hey brother <laughs> she walks over to oak <laughs> oak slowly faces towards you <laughs> uh, she backs away a little bit. So, how is that drinking going? I haven't started yet, sis. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? Well, I heard that you're really good at drinking, that no one could ever beat you. You're so <laughs> handsome. <laughs> oh my god, you're doing this? <laughs> <laughs> Close up of his heavily shadowed eyes. <laughs> Zach can't interrupt because it will spoil this, but he is just looking on with his mouth agape. Core is laughing his ass off. <laughs> Dom's trying to figure out this table game. 
You're so handsome and good at drinking. You should um drink and and show everyone how good you are, <laughs> brother. All right. But you have to stop doing this one day. <laughs> <laughs> she takes a sip. <laughs> Okay, one of the guys, the guy closest to you, comes up to the aside and says, "Hey, girl, why don't you, uh, why don't you come and play a drinking game with us?" And the other three laugh. Oh, that's that's a boy. That's my brother. <laughs> <laughs> he looks at you confused. <laughs> Oak's head pops, turning to the man. Big, dark, unfeeling eyes stare directly into him. <laughs> He, he stutters a bit and he says, Of course, that's what I meant. And he doesn't look so sure. <laughs> Whatever. Can't out drink me and my brothers here. Oh, yeah, he could. <laughs> is that so? Oh, yeah. He is more handsome than any of you. <laughs> Unmoving, Oak says, I'll take on all four of you at once. <laughs> But brother, you can't do that. That's unprecedented. The the one looking at you laughs and goes, "All right. If we win, we get some quality time with your sister." I hope you're talking to me. <laughs> <laughs> He's staring at you at least. Brother, no, please, do not do it. It is too dangerous. Slowly swiveling his head back around. <laughs> Don't worry, sis. I have this. She awkwardly <laughs> caresses your cheek. <laughs> I lean over to Kor. They are rather convincing. <laughs> They're the best! Are you kidding? <laughs> They're the best! <laughs> Zach says, unable to resist... <laughs> I've seen holograms show more emotion. <laughs> you see, Charlotte literally has her chin on her hand and she's just watching, smiling. <laughs> Oak's gaze then settles on the man's goggled face once again. What are you wagering? He drapes an arm around your shoulder. Well, maybe your life. You drive a hard bargain. <laughs> <laughs> and he, uh, he slaps the bar and says, Bartender, your best and keep it coming. The bartender looks in, like, obviously standing there the entire time. <laughs> Just shakes his head and starts pouring alcohol. Whether this gritting drunk idea works or not, it still might be a good idea to get these people out of the bar. I'll take these two guys to the north of me. I'll take the west. I'll take the south. Dom, you just sit with your hands in your pockets. Hmm, I was going to keep trying to figure out this game on the table. You're doing great! <laughs> I move around the black and white pieces without really any meaning behind it. You've got them cornered! <laughs> <laughs> I, stare, I stare at Charlotte, then back at the, uh, at, at the game board. You're quite good at this. <laughs> One of the um, the uh, guys at the bar, this guy over here, starts getting really loud and says, maybe we don't even need to do the contest. Maybe we should just have fun with her now. And when he says that, the cup that is in his hand, it's almost as if someone slapped the bottom of it really hard and... It flies up into his face and then rolls to the floor. And his friends laugh at him and he looks around confused. I, uh, I turn away from this riveting game I was playing, having given up on understanding it, and watch what's unfolding at the bar. Yeah, I do the same. <laughs> I turn my chair around. Evelyn will flash you a smile. I also take a look at the guy in the corner to see what he's doing. Yep. He is watching everything intently. Uh, I motion with my head to Dom and then to that guy, like, let's let's watch him while that unfolds. I don't really understand, but keep watching the guy. <laughs> I, uh, bridge my nose. 
Oak takes out and uncorks a small flask and drinks it. Brother, pre-gaming is dangerous. <laughs> Sis, this is just my medicine. Oh, all right. You do need to take that medicine. I'm quite ill, you see. I know you are quite ill, but we will find a doctor to save you. One of the uh, guys says, shut up and start drinking already. Oak starts quaffing the first drink and continues that pace, drink after drink. In about 20 minutes, let's say about 30 minutes, these guys are piss drunk. They're like, we almost got you. Just drink that one more and I'm gonna... And then the one, the furthest one, the blue, actually, like, falls and hits his head on the bar and kind of falls down and starts giggling to himself. The others don't look like they're much better. Another. (laughs) (laughs) Give them alcohol poisoning. Um, I think when you say another... The one closest to you says, enough. I don't know what you are or who you are, but I say we won. And I say it's about time you give us that sister of yours. Evelyn's pulled out her book and started reading it while they were drinking. (laughs) (laughs) I think you should sit down, buddy. He spins around to, to, to say something to you, gets dizzy, and sits down. Are you sure you want to harm this woman? What? Harm? Um, and right at about this time, the guy at the table that's been watching this whole time starts walking up purposefully. And he pulls out a shotgun. He pulls out a snub-nosed double-barrel shotgun, one of those ones that you can hold in one hand. And uh, he shoots this guy right in the head on the ground. Oak's eye seems fixated on the man uh, just before he got shot and even after death. And he he looks up at you and he says we don't have time for this. We have to move. And your spell goes off. I've been sitting there in complete silence, my mouth moving with noiseless words. My glass clatters to the ground. I stand up. I snap my fingers and the gun in his hands falls to pieces with an ugly crack. He looks at his hand and looks to you and says, what are you doing? Uh, can I take advantage of his moment of surprise in an, uh, and attempt to take him down? He kind of, uh, he, you kind of grab his hand and he kind of like shoves it away and says, whoa, whoa, I'm not here to fight you. Glance at the, uh, glance at the dead guard, the pieces of the gun and say, Apologies, I drew a conclusion incorrectly. Core collapses in his chair, me too. <laughs> Zach will come over and he'll say, You know what, guys? Don't worry. Nothing really happened. No harm, no foul. He, uh, he starts looking around a bit confused. And then he looks around and looks at what happened on the floor, looks to you guys, and then makes an obvious conclusion and says, well, Hurry up, finish the job. I turn to Zack. <laughs> Zack kind of gives a bit of a shrug. Like I said, I have some skills. I glance at my blade. Should I finish the job? I will speak to this guy and say pretty loudly, perhaps you should wait in the vehicle. He looks around again and he says, hurry. And then starts going towards the door. Then I will proceed to put my arm around uh each arm around these two guys say you see that guy he was your former boss you see what he did to your friend i don't think he wants you guys to be around him any longer so how about this you guys stay here and you live just keep drinking and mourn the death of your friend. The one to your right, the one that started the whole thing, starts trying to stand up and says, He murdered Jance. I want to punch him. <laughs> <laughs> you crack 
his face and the bar. <laughs> Do you understand me? They nod. You see, your friend? Your friend did not understand me. <laughs> you guys, you guys are smart. <laughs> like I said, stay here. Drink. You won't have to worry about anything. Bartender? Please just go before you bring more trouble. I, uh, I walk over, kneel down, and sling the corpse over my shoulder. I motion to Dom. Unfortunately, we're used to this. We either bring out four corpses or none. <laughs> that is our options. Why? Cor shakes his head. Admittedly, it's gross, but the last thing we want to leave for this nice upstanding barkeep is a corpse grossing up his bar. You're going to have to deal with the blood stain, unfortunately, but we can at least take care of this. He says, just please go. I, yeah, I sling the corpse over my shoulder and stare at the uh, pool of blood on the ground and shake my head. <laughs> Zack says, but, you know, my brother does have a point. All these guys pretty much just threaten to seriously assault our teammate. How many women have they assaulted in the past, made similar uh, propositions to? Kor looks over his shoulder. You want to kill them? They're all yours. I can't bring myself to do it, but I won't stop you. Zack? Mm-hmm? Let's go. Evelyn, what do you think? He, uh, 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 Zach asks, looking underneath the table. Evelyn has her hands over her head, and she is looking down at the ground, clearly shaken up from the current situation. You want to get out of here? She nods. All right, let's get out of here. Um, in passing, I'll just say to these guys, you guys got extremely lucky. As I'm leaving, I, uh, I turn to them and say, yes, if we had chosen to, uh, Take you down. I'd, I would have beaten you with your fallen comrade. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> as 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 you're walking out, Charlotte stands up with a kind of satisfied smile, moves one of the little pieces on the table, looks at Dom, and says, "Checkmate," and then starts walking out the door. <laughs> I, I I stop and stare at the checkerboard. I have, I have never seen him so shocked in my entire life. <laughs> I stare at Dom's expression. <laughs> it is still stuck. <laughs> and with that, you guys all travel outside. <laughs>